Partly cloudy to start out, and then we'll see some sunshine this afternoon. We're going to talk all about that. First, let's talk about the extreme cold that Texas is still battling. Below average temperatures, about 30 degrees below normal from places like Dallas, Houston, the Texas Panhandle, also battling the bitter colds. And our future track model also not only showing the temperatures, but more snow impacting San Antonio. Around 11 o'clock, they'll be in the 30s. Amarillo, Lubbock, 19 degrees around 8 o'clock tonight, only in the 20s in Dallas and 20s in Houston. Now, this model is showing that once Friday rolls around, they'll start to dry out and clear out, but the roads are still going to be very icy because, as you can see, temperatures are still below freezing. It's 6 o'clock Saturday morning, 24 Dallas, 30 in Houston, and there's all that snow which extends from San Antonio, San Marcos, Austin, into Lufkin. And Dallas not seeing any snow as of yet. Most of it is just south of Dallas. And then Houston, later on, will likely see some more freezing rain, unfortunately. Road conditions are very icy. Snow around Austin, San Antonio, and dry in Victoria, at least for now. El Paso, we're at 34, 14, Odessa, single digits in Lubbock and 13 degrees in Amarillo, also in the 20s, Dallas, San Antonio at 29, and as we head out west, Phoenix at 44 degrees, Las Cruces, 32 degrees, so we're right at that freezing point. We're seeing teens, Ruidoso, 18 in Ruidoso and the 14 Cloudcroft, and we've got 20s on the map, Silver City and Deming. So our future track model does show, I think we'll still have that slight chance for showers in the forecast this morning, then we're going to start to clear out, and as we jump to our weekend forecast, through Monday, things are looking pretty good. We'll be in the 70s Saturday, when Windy on Sunday, that's the next cold front that will be moving in. It will be dry, not forecasting any rain, and it's too warm for us to see any snow. So there's your seven-day forecast. Once Friday rolls around, we're in the 50s, warm this weekend, dry and sunny next week.